Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Saturday, February the 22nd. Today I want to look at the um, Nano VNA uh, testing a 433 MHz uh, LNA. This is the same LNA I tested in the last blog post. Actually, it's a broadband amplifier, and I tested it with a Pluto SDR. But I'm just looking for any excuse to use the Nano VNA. It's, it's absolutely an amazing little instrument. When I started my career, a network analyzer would sit on a bench, probably cost about you know, a quarter of a million dollars. Um, but now, uh, now with the new technology, the thing is portable. Uh, you can put it in your knapsack and go out in the field and use it. It's absolutely an amazing little instrument. I've got the details in the blog post, but what I've done here is I've set the guy up for, uh, incidentally, these are the, uh, the terminations you use to calibrate it. That's the open, that's the short, and that's the 50 ohm. So, and I've, I've also got two cables in here, two SMA cables. Right now I've got a 30 dB pad in between. So basically what you do is you set up, the first thing you do is set up for trace one. So only show trace one and format trace one for S21. That's the S2 parameter, S21 parameter, which is the forward voltage gain and set it for log mag. Uh, then you set the, the stimulus or the frequency range. I've got it going as I did in the last blog post from 100 megs to 800 megs. Okay, and once you've done that, uh, do the calibration. So you calibrate for the open, for the short, and for the 50 ohms, and then, then do isolation, and then join the two uh, cables together without the attenuator for the, um, for the uh, load. Okay, and that'll give you, or sorry, for the through, and that'll give you zero dB. In other words, there's zero dB from the input to the output. Now I've got a 30 dB in there right now, and if you look at the screen now, it's showing minus 30 dB. Now, why do I have that? <clears throat> well, when, when you consider the amplifier, I'm going to put the 10 dB on the input and the 20 dB on the output. So I'm going to consider the amplifier to be something like a filter. So I've got 30 dB, dB of attenuation. The amplifier has a 23 dB gain. So I should see about a minus 7 dB S21 if, if this thing works right. The reason I'm putting a 10 dB on the input is I don't want to overdrive this. I'm not too sure how much power comes out of the VNA. Let's say it's no more than uh, minus 10, probably somewhere between minus 10 and 0. If I put a 0 in here, I might get a 20 to plus 22 over here, which is too much for the amplifier. So that's why I put a 10 dB on the input. On the output, I've got a 20 dB, so I don't overdrive this. Um, the other thing I had to I checked is to make sure there's no DC voltage on the input and no DC P, DC on the output. I'm powering the uh, LNA from a five volt lithium battery, which is connected up here to plus uh, five volt and ground. So again, then right now I don't have the LNA in the circuit. I've got a 30 dB pad, and I'm showing minus 30. Now I'm going to connect the amplifier. Let's see what we get. Okay, so now I've got the amplifier in and I've got the 10 dB pad on channel zero here. So the signal's coming in here. It's being padded down so I don't overdrive the amplifier. And I've got a 20 dB pad on the output so I don't overdrive this port here. Now I've got 30 dB of attenuation in there and the amplifier gain is about, let's say 23. So that means that there's um, an attenuation there of about minus seven dB. So you can see here there's less attenuation at the low end, so there's more gain at the low end, and around 437 megahertz, it's about minus seven, which is the gain of 23 dB, and slightly less gain as you go up in frequency. That's pretty well what we saw before, and um, there's a graph of it here, so 437 is in the middle here, so you get about minus seven dB of attenuation, which means a gain of around 23, uh, less attenuation at the low end at 100 megs, and a little bit more at 800 megs. So again, uh, we're using the uh, Nano VNA to test this amplifier. And again, this is a pretty incredible little instrument.